I'm Gaz, and this is Let's Play Space Tyrant. This game was given to me as a review copy, and it appears to be a port of a mobile game, but it actually seems kind of interesting. It's basically a uh, simplified uh, space strategy, uh, not quite 4X game, but sort of a... Well, it's a... You, we'll find out. <laughs> Let's play the game. Choose your empire. So you go through and unlock uh, different campaigns and empires throughout the game, apparently. Uh, I've only played through the tutorial just to figure out how this thing works. Uh, as you play through, you get perks that carry through to other campaigns, so apparently we are forced to start with the Hoplite Dynasty. As cold and hard as the rocks from which their ships are made, Hoplites excel at both space and ground combat. Alright. So right now we have absolutely nothing we need to play. We have not even unlocked hard mode, which suits me just fine, because I feel like this game is going to start being a little bit difficult very quickly. Galaxies come and go, but a tyrant always remains. Okay, so uh, let's see here. We, I guess, get to choose um, some various campaign missions here to start with. And it looks like we can either start in the Twisting Nebula, a reign of tyranny will come to an end if the Senate ever takes control of the sector. Okay. Uh, or the Hive Worlds. So this is probably going to be the different uh, factions, ships that we get to see. Um, I don't know, this looks like our faction here, so I don't know what this is about. But the Galactic Senate, I guess, is the main goal end for the campaign. Uh, you have to basically go through these and then beat the Senate, uh, and then you win. So let's go ahead and just start off at the Hive Worlds. Um, difficulty one, whatever. Okay. Stone hair. This is where you review and select the loadout that best suits your next mission. Perks earned in previous missions can be found on the perk bar. Artifacts earned in previous missions can also be selected here. Okay. So we're starting at nothing, but uh, that's that's fine. We don't even have any other overlord besides stone hair. Stone hair has meteor strike as his special ability. We will see what that's about as we get in here, I'm sure. Grief. I may have to adjust the volume. Conquer all the planets. Neutrals ally with the Senate. Moderate Senate attacks. Is that an icon? And there's unrest from agitation. Every ship's second and fourth levels of tech upgrade confer exceptional bonuses. Okay, yes. So as you proceed through combat, you can unlock perks. The Tyranny Meter. Tyranny represents the strength of a space tyrant's control. We're the bad guys, by the way. Gain tyranny by capturing planets, destroying ships, and exploring. Unrest is the opposition to your control. It consumes tyranny each turn. The tyranny runs out. Populations rebel. And then I imagine you gotta go again. Oh, no, you just lose. Wow, okay, well, that's easy enough. It's a very simple game, actually. So, uh, the, basically, the way this works is that we start out with the fleet and uh, our homeworld, in this case. And I'm going to have to... I don't know. Um, in my test, this seemed like it was perfect volume. In my headphones, it doesn't seem that way. We'll find out, I guess. Uh, so we get our, our fleet here. Right now, we've only got three ships. Uh, you get to basically do two things. Uh, move, and then an action. An action could be going to the shipyard and upgrading things. Um, or combat, which uh, it looks like kind of where we're going here. Um, we may want to face those guys, but they're actually pretty powerful. These guys look like weaker ships. So basically here, uh, we have resources that our planets, our conquests, will provide. So we get 50 here per turn. Um, and actually, if we mouse over that, I also get 5 science per turn. And I get 4 extra defense to my 3 defense. So basically, the defensing... Well, 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 we'll see that as we get along. Um, we've got the science planet here. We've got a uh, crystal planet here. Crystals... Oh, right. Crystals are generated down here. Right now we have two of two. These regenerate every turn, and they are used to purchase cards. So we don't want to do this just yet. Um, I can do this. Allow a spent fleet to move again. That might actually be very useful. Or we can just up my research right away. I get a breakthrough in two. So I can unlock another research. Let's go ahead and use that. Because um, we won't be able to use that. We'll, maybe we'll use this after I've conquered a planet. Again, I need to decide what planet I want to conquer. Um, first things first, I'm going to go into the shipyard. I do have a little bit of money, and we see I do have two open slots. So 
I'm going to use what little money I have to do this, and uh, the destroyers, um, if we look over there, uh, are pretty good at health, I mean, for fighters, or in this case, a destroyer. Um, so it's good to have them kind of guarding these weaker frigates. Uh, you look over here, and you see that these are the special abilities. Uh, the cruiser has bulwark, which allows regeneration, um, and the volleys allow me to fire more rapidly. Basically, well, never, let's get into it. Um, again, where do we want to start? Go get research? I, 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 you know what? Let's go get crystals so we can do more cards. It is, however, a defensive two. Eh, let's, let's risk it. While my fleet is still fresh, let's go ahead and do this. Okay. Red Eye. Tactic system. Oh, this is a new thing. Start by selecting a tactic. It can be used any time during combat. Just click the chosen tactic to trigger it. Ah, fun. So, it's a special little ability. Um, okay, so, see the energy above these ships. Our guy here will generate uh, those lightning bolts through time, and we can use them to activate these special abilities as they are unlocked. Um, saving up for the meteor strike actually takes quite some time, but it is very powerful. I don't think we will need it against these things, frankly. So, group hug, heal adjacent ships for 100, so I can plop it down here and everybody gets healed. That's amazing. Minus 100 to ships in a horizontal line, so we could just strike there. They come... Command ships in the end, I don't think count. If we clear all of these, I think we win. All large ships do 30% less damage. We do not want that. We'll do group hug. We want to maintain the fleet as early as possible here. And that is not so good. Ah, shit, I think I clicked that one. Damn it. I meant to click this guy. I'm not doing so hot here because, uh, because of that. Come on, come on. I think I've used up all my special abilities. Struggle is real. Okay, well, we win. Very sloppy win. And now we have to invade the planet. Basically, that uh, defensive thing is what we need to roll equal to or greater than in order to conquer the planet. Awesome. It's now mine. So now I will get an extra two crystals, I think. Or a little generate. Yeah, we now we have four. Awesome. This planet has a species of gigantic proto sentience native to it. How will you manage them? Have them toil the fields, become their god emperor, or study them? I don't feel like this is going to do a good thing for me, but having them toil the fields. Let's try that. This may not work. Ooh. They take to their new task with strength and enthusiasm. Profits are up. Excellent. So, I can click on this and maybe go to the shipyard. Maybe now would be the time to sell this. I don't think you can actually repair. So we want to get rid of... Can I get an excess of one here? Yeah, okay. So now that one's good. And we've got surplus, which I can recycle for a little bit. I feel like I might want to do that with this one too. Maybe I'll just let that one go destroyed. So we'll get a little bit of money back. Uh, and then we can get out of here. Oh, I... I'm an idiot. I've already got two waiting. When they're highlighted like this, that means you've got two extra. Well, we all make mistakes. Ultra-rich fortified city. We definitely cannot handle that one right now, but allow a spent fleet to move again. We could maybe take two of these and we'll get some extra science. We're already going plus five a turn. We would go hit the next level if I took this. So let's do this. And then, actually, since this one is close to the frontier, well, maybe I'll wait until I conquer this one, because there might be a, a connection line to this one. Um, I want to add the secret police so I can prevent possible invasions. I don't know if these guys are going to start moving towards here, so we'll find out. Um, okay, you get to move, and we're going to move here. This time, let's not screw this up. Uh, inspire two random ships. Maybe I should just do that right off the bat, and then I can go bam, bam. Yeah, okay. Now this has a special... Yeah, we lost that one. God, this guy is... 
have used up their abilities. I'm probably doing this completely wrong, but... Mediocre. And he's level 2. Now we can have more ships. Let's invade. It's only a 1, so we basically are guaranteed to win, because equal to or greater will conquer it. My tyranny is up. Nothing discovered. Alright, that's so lame. However, uh, we noticed that there is no connecting line here, which means that it would probably be better for me to put these guys on this planet. This may seem a waste. Um, I'm probably better off actually garrisoning something else, but you never know. Someone might come this way, even though it does not indicate anybody's even there. It's just a fortified city. There is no fleet there. It would just be very difficult without something else. The thing is, though, um, it's not an all-or-nothing thing when you invade a planet. You just have to stay there an extra turn. I just don't know what this guy's going to do, so... Maybe I shouldn't worry about it. There is no connection connection here except for here. But if you zoom out, you see there are many other sectors. I don't know how much of this sector we have to actually conquer. What is the goal to this again? Control 60% of the planets. Oh, there's way more. Okay. And I think actually you can kind of see there's a connection there. A connection there, so maybe actually fortifying that city. Because there is no other connection to this. Doesn't mean someone's not going to move in here on the next turn, though. Eh, we'll save it. Okay. Death Ray. I can fire... Oh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. New tech. Forced labor. City gains 20 credit income and decaying. And decaying. What the, what the hell does that mean? We can fire the Death Ray? Does that destroy... Ooh, their defense just went up. Use 15... What? 15 evil genius to destroy one to three ships? Ah, okay. Well, I could maybe utilize that for this. Let's get them oppress. What? Permanently increases production. Rebellion is currently at 5%. Let's see what this does. Oppression uses all remaining moves. Nope. Maybe I could put this there. Maybe that would be enough. City gains 20 credits income and decaying. Let's see what this does. Requires a friendly city, not decaying. Well, what does that mean? Do I, so I, maybe I have to be at, at a certain place. Okay, so I've got some money here. Carriers? So carriers are useful, I guess, for invading another ship. But from what I've seen, it takes a very long time to get there. So I'd like to have another cruiser, for sure. I'm gonna put you there. Grab you here. Grab... Not enough monies. Damn it. Okay, well, we'll use that for now. And then we will... Send them here. There's a higher button. Pick a tech. There we go. Plasma furnace. Or wide bays. Larger fleet deck. Yep, not useful for me right now, so we need more damage. Are we available there? Nope. So I guess it fortified city. This is just world, lab, world. Okay, so city, city, basically is how that works. So we'll go conquering this one next. There is still unrest. I mean, I guess I could have used that to oppress. Allied with the Senate, that's not good. Allies of the Senate. Terrified planets often join local Senate and defend against you. Once joined, these planets will launch projects to undermine your advance. Disrupt the projects by capturing their worlds whenever possible. Okay. So we got one up in here that I need to worry about. Orbital strike. Minus two defense to a sieged planet. Oh, cool. So I could use that for here, and for, for sure. Conscript a new leader from your militia. I do not have the resources required to do that. My death rate is down, too. So... Uh, do I have a little bit of money now I can add to my fleet? Absolutely. Should I worry about saving space? I could get two more of these guys. For cannon fodder. But they are tech level two. Let's do it. I want to make this as painless as possible. We could easily conquer these guys. Maybe I should just ignore them, although that's much higher income. Eh, we'll come back around to the prison. 
Let's go for easy pickings. They're only a level one. Inspiro. Remove a friendly ship from battle. Group hug. All large ships. I don't think these are large ships. We'll do group hug, and we'll just have to pay attention. Jesus, what the hell was that? I do want to get these guys all healed up. I must have bulwarked or something. Those are actually very... Very strong. What is that? Asteroids. Not so great. But, what the hell is that? That's a hyperspace something or other? Anyway, we need to invade. Easy enough to invade. Goody, goody. So, that is now an allied ship. Or city, sorry. It's not a ship at all. Without warning, a wormhole-like anomaly appears in front of your fleet. You must act quickly to avoid disaster. I'm afraid if we take the wormhole... Ah, screw it. Enter the wormhole. What could possibly go wrong? Ships are lost. Two ships destroyed. They weren't valuable ones, though. So I'm okay with that. Forced labor. Play five cards in one turn. Okay, well that's going to be difficult. We're going to go ahead and attach something to this. Just for funsies. Just to make sure. Uh, and then I think I'm going to back out of that. I would like to get crystals, but we're okay on the crystals right now, I feel. Because we're not really using that um, too much. You know what I mean? because we've only got so many cards. We, <laughs> we don't really need to worry too much about that. Um, so we don't have any money, so I'm going to have to wait. But I do want to come back over to here to get this, because it's ultra-rich. But uh, also just so I can utilize this to knock down its defenses. Uh-oh. I might need to do this a little bit faster than I'm currently doing it. Tachyon torpedoes destroy two enemy ships. Excellent. Should I oppress this? Rebellion is currently at 5%. Permanently increased production. Let's do it. We'll take a turn. It is oppressed. It is now mine, I'm supposing. Decaying, minus 10. Vulnerable, minus 1. And it's also poor. But we've got forced labor to make it rich, and we're oppressing it like hell. And it's just... I don't understand this. Um, okay, we do have a little bit of money now, so let's get ourselves another cruiser. It might be a little too slow, but... Oh, and we've also... Do we have a frigate? We've got a frigate sitting there. Maybe not? Maybe? I don't know. It'll tell me if I've got surplus, so I think I'm doing okay. Um, okay. It's got to sit there for a turn, which means we waste our crystals. I wonder if I could just destroy that and it won't get them back. Eh, let's just do it. Organic armor. Substantial... Sub... Wow. Organic hull substrate allows damage to be slowly repaired during combat. I like it. Rapid reloading of missile ports allows more shots. Three more shots of volley. Hmm. Let's do, uh, since I've got so many of them now, let's do that instead. Uh, ooh, shit. I blew money. I could have used that to hire for a hundred. Okay. Well. So that unrest must be coming from where? Uh-oh. Now we gotta get rid of this guy. Okay, that's fine. Now we know where we're going. Increase a fleet leader experience by one. Um, let's use that. We now need to focus on getting him. Destroy two enemy ships. Let's just use that now. That might be a, a mistake because it might possibly be replenned, but. Uh -uh. Fuck me. Forced labor. Okay. Well, this is unfortunately not a. Enemy fleet is coming to attack. Ah, okay. Well, let's go in here. Take this out. 
Row down or be destroyed. Remove friendly ship, make a ship vulnerable. Aha, that would be actually be very good for that one. Invulnerable, oh god. How about that one? Since that was the first target. That's the one I should be. Seal a breach, okay. Easy, McPeasy. Meteor Strike, smash down two enemies. Excellent fleet. Sh ooh, big fleet. Excellent. So we can invade. Oh shit. Back. Let's make this easy. No, because I wanted it against these guys. These guys are holy shit. We definitely are going to need help there. That's now an impossible one. This is only two. Are you fucking kidding me? Alright, research. What is that? Trade world. Hubs for trade of every good. Interesting. But, we're trying to take away from the Senate. Volleys and Guardians. Regeneration power also heals weakest adjacent ship. Let's just keep going. I love that. This is not good, though. This is really not good. Fuck me. Strike patrol. Add two frigates to a fleet. Well, we can't really do it that there. So we're just going to have to waste a turn here, and now we definitely get this. Okay. Excellent. Following a distress break into a desert moon, you come upon a capable-looking pilot mourning his ruined ship. Explains that while exploring... 60 space, he became disoriented. Entered reality just in time to crash into this world. Uh, compare star maps or conscript him? Nice. Soldiers quickly slap a slave collar around the ace's neck and haul him to the fleet. One extra carrier. Well. So now... Oops. I can maybe do something like this. Yeah, we'll do something like that. And then... 300. What did I need 300 for? I needed 300 for something that I cannot remember right offhand. Was it to fire the death ray? Hire? Conscript a new leader. Yes. Shipyard. You. Okay. Because right now we need to be spreading out like crazy. So, you, I want to go in the shipyard so we can get you around. Shocktopus is now my new my new dude. Awesome. Okay, this is much better. I feel much better about this. I would feel much better about having my main fleet down here to conquer them, but that doesn't really matter because we're ro rolling. <laughs> Gee, ruh, ruh, ruh. We're rolling against that six, so it doesn't matter. There's no fleet there. So I guess I'll send you there, and now we're going to have to start working on this because that militia is about to get there and there's no quick and easy way to get there they'll probably come to try and invade this so we can take the trade world and then maybe sideline them back there uh, we've got some more rabbit ships forced labor none of these are cities decaying decaying badly too so do you just have to have a picket patrol there that just kind of sits and... That's kind of weird. Maybe you do. Maybe you just got to have one that kind of orbits around at six to keep the, the uh, oppression down. The unrest down. Blasting ships and capturing worlds raises tyranny, while unrest reduces it. Okay. Well, we have the opportunities to take a few ships add two frigates to a fleet then I've then I've got the problem with these guys though that I can't I, I would have surplus is the thing so I could just make this like three frigates straight up recycling the cost of those that would probably be enough to definitely take this but 
I'm a little nervous to do that. Maybe I shouldn't do that just yet. If we can take this, we can lower that to one. That's an easy pick. Fortified, though, I feel actually this is a better choice. Maybe not necessarily with my fleet against that fleet, but we can definitely try it. And then reduce it to two. That gives me much better odds. Okay, I think I've got a game plan. I'm going to end this one here. We'll continue conquering the galaxy next time.